Welcome to the Morning Update. I'm Erin Roan. A horror story out of Queensland. First up with a three-year-old girl fighting for life after she was left inside a minivan outside a daycare centre. She was found inside the van near Rockhampton yesterday afternoon. She'd spent more than six hours inside. The crew um, did a quick assessment, took them out to the vehicle, waiting for the uh, critical care paramedic crew to arrive. Once they did, a few minutes later, uh, the patient was um, treated, stabilised and transported to Rockhampton Base Hospital. That's Jason Thompson from the Queensland Ambulance Service there. The girl has since been flown to Brisbane for deep brain tests. Both the major parties will turn their attentions to the business sector today. The PM promising to help 400,000 small business owners set up shop over the next five years. The opposition leader will tell industry leaders of plans of a new phase of economic reform. Meantime, early voting for the upcoming federal election begins on Monday and we are being urged to plan ahead. More than 500 early voting centres will be operational across the country. If you are able to vote on election day, then that's what we're asking you to do as federal elections are in-person events. However, we do understand that if your circumstances prevent you from doing that, you do need to think carefully and maybe vote early. That's the Australian Electoral Commission's Jess Lilly there. School leaders could be forced to pass a literacy and numeracy test before enrolling in teaching courses at university. It's part of a Morrison government plan to improve teaching standards. It comes just one day after thousands of New South Wales public school teachers walked off the job over pay and conditions. Overseas, the Ukrainian president says he's lost contact with soldiers who were inside the besieged as of style steelworks in Mariupol. It comes as it's confirmed 156 civilians have been evacuated with Russian intensifying its bombardment. Vladimir Zelensky says he has no idea if the soldiers are even alive. Unfortunately, today, contact with the boys has been lost. There is no contact to understand what is going on, whether they are safe or not. Just yesterday, I still had contact. And Olympic delegates have been blown away while touring the venues for the 2032 Games over the past three days. In sport, Fremantle has been dealt a blow ahead of tomorrow night's clash with North Melbourne. The Dockers will be without at least six players under the AFL's COVID health and safety protocols. In the A-League, bottom of the table, Perth Glory has defeated ladder leaders Melbourne City 2-0 and the NRL round kicks off tonight with the Bunnies up against the Broncos. For even more sports news, make sure you check out the sports update. You'll find it wherever you're listening to this show. In entertainment news, and Amber Heard has this morning taken to the stand at ex-husband Johnny Depp's defamation trial against her. She's described how the violence started with him throwing a glass at her and trashing an apartment. I struggle to find the words to describe how uh, painful this is. Um, This is horrible. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcasts team. We'll see you later on for another episode of The Update.